If you're dialed into 98.7, which is hard rock, and you want to listen to soft jazz, which is on 99.9, you've got a problem, right? A lot of people have that in their life. They want one result, and yet they're getting another result. And what you got to do is you got to change your formula. You got to raise your vibe. You know, some people are tuned in to attracting miserable people in their life, and other ones have enjoyable, fulfilled people they love in their life. And the best news of all is that we all get to choose, and it all starts with our own vibe. So if you want better results in your business, your life, or with your money, you're going to love today's episode on raising your vibe. So hi and welcome. I'm Annette Bao, host of the Millionaire Insider. For over 30 years, I have been advising and researching the top 1% and 2% of millionaires to learn what super successful people do differently. And now I'm providing you practical, easy to implement insights so you can create a richer and more fulfilling life, as I like to say, a wealthy life. So today we're diving into how to raise your vibration. Please click subscribe and ring the bell. Let's face it, if you want better results in your business or your life, the first thing you've got to do is you've got to program your mind. Like I can tell you until I'm blue in the face how to raise your vibe, but if you don't have it programmed into your hardwired neural pathway, nothing is going to change. So I have a free resource for you. You can go to millionaireseries.com forward slash RMT and access it, but it's our program your mind template. This template walks you step by step through what you need to do to program your mind. Because we all have hardwired neural pathways, habits that we do oftentimes, most times unconsciously. So the first thing you got to do if you want to raise your vibe is you got to learn how to reprogram your mind. This template will show you how. Again, millionaireseries.com forward slash RMT. So for today's show notes, go to millionaireseries.com forward slash 188. For all show notes, go to millionaireseries.com forward slash WLI. All materials and intellectual property are copywritten by the millionaireseries.com. This information is not intended to replace any advisor or specialist or to provide you any investment, financial tax, retirement, any planning or healthcare advice. All participants agree to hold millionaireseries.com and its affiliates harmless for results achieved or not achieved and all international copyrights are reserved. So let's dive into raising your vibe. We're going to start off with energy. Now, so many times it sounds so woo-woo, right? And sometimes people, I think, intentionally try to make it really woo-woo. Like it's like out there and there's no way you can tap into it. But what I want to talk about today is, is real world practical ways in which you can raise your vibe. And I want you to think about it. Think about somebody that you, you just recently spoke with. I was just with one of my dear friends and she's got really great energy. And whenever I'm around her, I just feel better. Now think about someone that you're like, oh gosh, you know, you, you start talking with them and you just feel your energy dropping. You know, let's face it, we all have energy. And one of the things I'm always looking for whenever I'm talking with one of my clients, especially my advisor clients is where's their energy? Because I know if they raise their energy, they're going to get better and different results. It's just, it just works that way. So the first thing you got to do is you got to work on your worth barometer. Now, I have been studying success my entire life. And what I discovered is that we all have a worth barometer. It's kind of like a gauge of where we are above the grid, at the grid or below the grid. Your worth barometer is comprised of your belief in your self esteem. It's the number one indicator of your success. It's measured by the grid. And we'll talk about that in a minute. When you have a healthy worth barometer, you understand that your short-term actions produce your long-term results. And that's why we are aware of what we think each second of each day, what we do, how we show up. I'm going to link in the show notes to the episode where I really dove deep into the worth barometer. You can go to millionaireseries.com forward slash 105. But if you go to the show notes for today, you'll get the link also. So the worth barometer is measured on a grid. Above the grid is a level three. People have a can do, will do attitude. They are optimistic. They have energy, their energy's high, and they're always looking for the good. They take personal responsibility and ownership and their focus is on their vision, where they're going. The primary emotion is love, but love, peace, joy, high energy. At the grid, they conceptually understand this, but they rationalize or justify their actions. And I can relate because I've spent my life a lot of different areas on the grid. Below the grid is more of a can't do, won't do attitude. Their energy is low. 
and negative. Their outlook is pessimistic. They lack personal ownership and responsibility. They're a bully or a victim. Their focus is on pain, fear, anger, worry. Now, until you know there is a grid, you can't blame yourself. I didn't know there was a grid for the first 30 some years of my life. I lived below it. I gossiped. I was negative about people and situations. I sometimes had a win-lose or a lose-win, which is so toxic. And once I started realizing the grid and I realized how important it is to live above the grid, everything in my business, my life, and my wealth changed. And I can say now, the fact that I'm financially free, I can do what I want to do, I have achieved my financial goals, what's awesome is I can enjoy it. Because see, the problem is, is if you head down the path below the grid and you achieve your financial goals, you got a miserable life. And believe me, I've seen plenty of people go down that path, but I've also seen people who live below, above the grid and achieve their goals and have an amazing life. Understanding the grid. Why is the grid so critical to your success? You attract others who are also where you are vibrationally or energetically. Think about how you feel when somebody tells you, you look terrible. Have you ever had somebody walk up to you and go, do you feel okay? Before I knew that I was a winter as far as my color, I would wear all kinds of colors and people would be like, are you feeling okay? You look really pale today. I'm like, who says that? But you know, when somebody just doesn't look well, and they're meaning well, but they're like, oh, you look terrible. Or when somebody says, oh my God, you look so good. <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, thanks. Every level of the grid has a story, one of success or failure. Above the grid pulls us towards what we want. Below the grid pushes us towards what we don't want. Michael Beckwith said, you can't have what you want until vibrationally you're ready for it. If you get it, you're going to lose it. Even though he doesn't per se discuss the grid or maybe know about it, he understands the concept. We've got to be showing up above the grid if we want to attract clients that are above the grid. Pain is going to push us until the vision pulls us. It's about us. It's not about our spouse, our peers, our boss, the president. It's about us. And it requires that we take ownership and responsibility and stop searching for someone or something to blame for where we are. All right, I'm going to link to the grid training in the episode. So you can just go to millionaireseries.com forward slash 188 and you can get the link because I dive deep into that. So let's look at some tips to elevate your energy. Science shows that we are made up of different energy levels. Vibrations operate at different frequencies, high, low, and in between. The key is to identify your level of energy in every area of your life and then determine if you need to increase the level. Only you get to decide. This is important because we attract the level at which we operate. Now, the key here is you got to be real. Are you attracting the ideal clients you want? Are you generating the revenue you want? If the answer is yes, then great. If not, then you really need to look at this. But examples can include money, clients, health. So once you get clear on where you are and what you need to change, the next thing you got to do is learn how to slow down. Now, this is hard for a lot of us that are kind of bottom line drivers, but we're responsible for our life and the results we're getting, period, exclamation mark. A great affirmation is, I am responsible for my life and my results. You want to identify when you're at your best and then replicate it each day. Identify what gets you off track. This is where you go to a level one. What triggers you? And ideally, you identify it before you get triggered. But if you don't, then make a note of it. Okay, I get triggered when... I used to get really triggered when somebody would mess with my kids. <laughs> and I have to remind myself, okay, I understand this stuff and I've got to let my kid deal with it, but it could trigger me. Identify how you get back on track. How do you get to a level three? What strategies can you use? Focus breathing, silent meditation, taking a walk, meditating. Slowing down makes getting clear possible. Start with your thoughts, then your words, then your actions, then your results. Review your level three why if you lack the passion or drive to do what you need to do. Now, just as a reminder, level one why is a me or my stage, my house, my car. Level two is the our or us, our business, our community. And then level three is where you become unstoppable. We want to get to level three. Now, continue to monitor and refocus on what you want. Now, my friends, this is the key. None of us are always above the grid. And I know for me personally, the vast majority of the time I'm above the grid, but there are still things that trigger me. So what we've got to do is we've got to figure out, okay, do we need to work on it or do we need professional help? I'm actually have like the world's best psychologist ever, 
but she's actually helping me work on some of the things I still get stuck on. I want you to get real clear on that because it's so easy to look at me and think I have it all figured out. I don't. And what we got to do is figure out, okay, what's triggering us? And more importantly, what can we do to get back on track? So this is so helpful for all of us. All right, one of the things you can do is practice mindfulness, living in the present. Everything that we think, say, or feel becomes our reality. Our thoughts, words, and actions impact us. For example, whenever you hear somebody say, well, I never get a break, or I never have enough ideal clients, or the economy is doomed, or this is my favorite one, I can never make money under this president, and it's always some political party. What I want to tell you this much is whenever I hear that, I always laugh, and they're like, why are you laughing? I'm like, my mantra, my chant, my affirmation is, I'll make money under any president. And guess what? I always have. <laughs> it's actually so funny that people like wire themselves like, oh, I did so bad under this president. And it's like, really? You got to really look at that because we can make money under any person if we set our mind to do it. The problem is we can also go broke under any president because we can set our mind that we're going to not make money. So we got to be aware of that. When you change your thoughts, words, and actions, you raise your vibe and change the outcome. That's what's so important. I want to repeat that. When you change your thoughts, words, and actions, and you raise your vibe, you change the outcome of literally everything. All right, what can you do? Let's look at some practical tips. Get sleep. 60 to 90 minutes before you go to bed, turn off all electronics and don't stimulate your nervous system. This can be really hard, like it's really hard for me. So what I do is I have a ritual that I go through each night before I go to bed. It takes me about 30 to 45 minutes. Now, I find that I get tired in like, you know, about between 8 and 9.30. And if I stay up after 9.30, I've got like this burst of energy. I could stay up forever. So you got to watch that because I do know that if I get to bed earlier, I do a lot better. You want to get seven to eight and a half hours of sleep a night. And remember that if you're going to bed at 10 and getting up at 6, about an hour to an hour and a half of that, you're awake. So you got to be aware of that. You got to factor that in. And then make sure and drink water earlier in the day so you don't have to urinate at night because it's, that can really mess up your sleep. Stay hydrated. A lot of experts recommend 50% of your body weight in ounces of water each day. If you live in a dry community or you exercise, you want to drink more. And then focus breathing and meditation. Now, if you're doing yoga or meditation, you should be doing focused breathing. That's the whole point of it, to breathe deeply in through your nose, take a deep abdominal breath, and then you're going to release them. Now, our amygdala in our brain governs our emotions, our fear, our anxiety, and our worry. And interestingly enough, meditation and yoga, which has been scientifically proven, actually shrinks the size of our amygdala. Now, one of the things that they have found is that people who have really extreme views, and they've done this more in politics, but the more extreme a person's views, the larger their amygdala is because the larger their fear center. So what can you do? I'm going to give you a resource. You can go to millionaireseries.com forward slash 125, but I did an actual focused breathing training where I teach you how to do it. You want to start with focused breathing or silent meditation because that's gonna calm you down. Then you can go to secondary strategies such as prayer, chants, guided meditation, things like that. But see, the problem is if you pray and you have a really active mind and you haven't slowed it down, it's kind of like pouring tea into a cup. If it's full and you pour more tea in, it doesn't do any good, it just starts going over. We don't wanna do that and that's why primary strategies are so important. Breathing slows us down, be here now. Breathing in through your nose, holding it, and then releasing. So powerful. All right, don't commit until you're clear on what you want. You want to get in the driver's seat, and that requires that you slow down your mind. And as I mentioned, breathing, uh, focused breathing and silent meditation are so critical to this. All right, practicing yoga. Now, if you know anything about me, I love restorative yin yoga. It's such a powerful stress antidote because it downregulates the sympathetic nervous system, which is our fight or flight, and it upregulates the parasympathetic nervous system, which is what calms us down. It keeps things working. It gets us in the zone that we need to to achieve something. It's going to calm our, our heart rate down. It's going to help us conserve energy. Some great positions are forward fold, child's pose, or even final twist. So again, you can do your own research, but a lot of those can really help anxiety and nerves. 
I'll give you some additional resources. My restorative yoga vinyasa, which is millinerseries.com forward slash 116.5. And then my abundance chant, millinerseries.com forward slash 117.5. But all of those are so effective to get you above the grid. All right, you gotta eat a clean diet. This is critical. Ideally, you're eating organic, non-starchy vegetables, healthy fat like olive oil, avocados, nuts, as long as you don't have allergies, and then complex carbohydrates and lean protein. Now, what's really important is that you make sure that you know enough about your system to know what works for you, but eating a healthy, clean diet is absolutely critical. Bone broth, I wanna bring that up, because if you have any issues, health issues, bone broth, chicken broth, or even beef broth can be really powerful. All right, practice forgiveness and compassion. One of the best chants I love is a Hawaiian chant. I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. It's a Ho'oponopono chant. And if you do research on it, this psychiatrist literally healed a mental ward by doing it. But forgiveness and compassion do a lot to help raise our vibration. And one of the most important people we need to forgive is ourselves. For times we've screwed up, we all screw up and we can beat ourselves up like I do. I'm doing a real good job beating myself up. Like I go through the day and like everything's great and I do one thing that's really a screw up. I'm sure I do a lot of other things, but one thing, and I spend the time focusing on that. It's like, that's not healthy. We've gotta be easy on ourselves. And some people are probably too easy on themselves and some people like me are too hard on myself, but just gauge it. Spend time in nature. You know, it's amazing. I can be so stressed out and I'll be at one of my homes I go for a walk on the beach and I just am in a different frame of mind. I go for the walk, a walk in the forest, different, different mindset, different. I just feel completely rejuvenated. I was having happy hour with one of my best friends and I said, what do you do? To, she has so much going on and a lot of stress. And she said, I felt so stressed today. She backs up to the preserve. I took, went out with my dogs, took a walk and within seconds I felt better. So time and nature can really help. You wanna hang with positive people. You know, as I mentioned earlier, when you're around somebody, you're like, oh my God, they just like drain your energy. Like I was one day, I was on with two different clients and one of them, God, he had such great energy. And the second one, I'm like, I got off and I'm like, I need a nap. I was so exhausted. So by raising your vibe, people are gonna pick up on that and people are gonna sense that you've got good energy. Now I'm really susceptible to other people's energy. I can like sense it. You can too, but you've got to, first of all, quiet down your mind so you get in the driver's seat of your life. Then you'll start noticing things. You'll become more conscious, more aware. And when you see somebody who's got really low vibe, you don't have to go tell them. You just can kind of basically keep your distance. You don't have to become their best friend. Move your body. Moving our bodies is so powerful. Something's bothering you, get out and walk. Go on your elliptical. I like to go on a power walk. I like elliptical. I used to run. I don't run as much, even though I have a whippet dog, so sometimes he makes me run. But, you know, going for a hike, all of those things are so important. So again, as I mentioned, to raise your vibe, the first step you got to do is you've got to program your mind. And the template I'm providing you today is free, and it'll show you how. You can go to millinerseries.com forward slash RMT. But learning how to program your mind in my opinion, is probably the most important thing you can do to make any major behavioral change because we all have hardwired neural pathways. And if we don't get in the driver's seat of our business and life, our limbic brain, our primitive brain, one that's been there for 2 million years, is going to dictate how we show up. And if we want to show up differently than we've been showing up, we've got to learn how to program your mind. This resource will show you how. MillionaireSeries.com forward slash RMT. For today's show notes, go to millionaireseries.com forward slash 188. For all show notes, go to millionaireseries.com forward slash WLI. So thank you so much for joining me for How to Raise Your Vibration. I'm Annette Ba'u, host of The Millionaire Insider. Now, wasn't that easy? It wasn't too woo-woo. I actually gave this to my mastermind, which is made up of financial advisors and financial coaches who are much more linear thinking than probably the average person. And I got great feedback. Now, granted, I went a lot more in depth than to a lot of different concepts, but the key is if you practice and apply even a fraction of what I shared with you today, you're gonna to get results. And you're gonna more importantly, raise your vibe and start attracting what you want in your life. And I can't wait to hear about your results. So I'll look so forward to connecting with you soon and seeing you on our next episode. Bye for now.